stays with Riley. We haven't done it in this room, so I'm going to show you week one work at first, and uh, uh, then I'll, uh, I'll show you where the week two work is. So, Riley, sit. Part of week one work. Actually, let me try. Uh, no, I'll do the stays first. Just notice she sat the first time I said sit there. And we're in a different room and uh, Boris is uh, snuffling around and Willow's around here somewhere too. So I set her up for one minute. I want to get one minute still with me sitting, standing next to her four times in a row. And then I'm going to start the circle and, and uh, start to advance that. When she doesn't, she almost made it there. We're just going to set her up again. Different smells, different room are part of the distractions that can uh, have your dog ignore what they're supposed to be doing. That's why we work in all sorts of different environments and everything. I can also, when I go into a different environment, I can also go down on my time if I want. If she breaks the next one before one minute, I might do that with her. So if you can save it uh, by correcting it before her bump actually gets up, or she corrects herself by lifting up her bum a little and then slamming it down. We call that saving the exercise and then you can count that towards your four in a row. But we're not gonna have to. Riley, good girl, good girl. And then when she does it, lots of affection. Not so much affection that you break your dog out of it. But Riley works for affection. <laughs> you do. Okay, let's go. Set. So this may be our two. <laughs> you can hear my dog hopping around. Don't let them go down either. I saw that she might have been making a move. You can walk quickly towards their front feet if you see them start to lie down. That'll usually pop them up. Good girl. Good Riley. Okay. Yes. Yes is my release word. So you say sit. One Mississippi. If she doesn't sit, you get the collar correction. I'll do a, a video on that. This is potentially our three. We've done this outside in our yard with her too with the dogs around our dogs. 
and the other dives in path learning. Got what I was doing there. Okay, let's release start. Getting on me. Or as. as a release word anymore. I'm really trying to get it to just be yes, sit, because it it works in with a marker system I use. Potentially a four. So you're always a team in this. I have my responsibilities to get us through it, to make sure I'm teaching the right rewarding her right and remembering my steps. And then she's a willing participant with me when she knows what I want. And then rewarding her when she does it right too. And then we become a team or a partnership. Okay, let's go. My husband's on the other side of the garage door now being a distraction. Okay. All right. So we started the circle stays in week one, which is unusual. Mostly because she did actually have a sit there that I could work with without going all the way to the beginning. Sit. So that's the correction for sit. And now... Job, keep doing it. It does not mean always. Up. So now we're back at zero. No biggie. Let's reset and do it again. Reset. Do it again. Good girl. So I told her she was good there, especially because she almost stepped out of it again.
There's our two. Good girl. Good girl, Riley. Good girl. Yes. Let's go. Sit. Good girl, eh? Potentially a three. she got up during the good girls. That's why I'm very careful about making that clear to them. That good just means good job. Keep going. Let's go. Sit. Potentially our number four. faster in my head than my, my watch, which is correct, does. So I'm going to just leave that at week one work. We're going to be going on a walk in public and work more in week one. And then if we have time today, we'll start lengthening the leash. That's basically going to be two, week two work is lengthening the circle that she can stay around her. I should also mention a few rules when we go into public. So I might uh, take down the time for sit stay next to me when I'm out in public because she might not be able to do one minute out in public. And then I'll build that back up to a minute. Same thing with circle stays. We may or may not do them depending on where she is on those days. Let's think of anything else we might take down. No, those are the two ones. The stay and the circle stay in public heel will probably not look as pretty in public as it does uh, in the yard, the yard or upstairs. And a long line also will probably not be as pretty in public. So we're working all of those so that she gets used to more distraction. She might do great. I mean, these dogs do uh, Labradors in general and or Goldens or those cross with poodles. <laughs> They usually do great at this sort of stuff and don't uh, give you many problems when you get out there, which is great because then we can get her farther along faster than some some other, uh, generally speaking, breeds. Not all. 
Some breeds that are considered generally tough are uh, some individuals of that breed are actually easy to train. And some individuals of this breed, not so much. But in general, they're pretty easy, huh, Riley? Riley says, I work for love. <laughs>